we are ready to start weight training today. So we are going to be using two dumbbells today and have a chair handy if you would like some of the seated variations. We're going to start with our normal warm up, seated or standing. You're going to start with just swinging your hands side to side, letting them tap lightly against your body. Just bringing a little motion through your back, through your abdomen, through your shoulders. Beautiful. Two more to each side. And then bring it to center and big arm circles forward. Big arm circles backwards. And then throw those arms in and out across your chest. Perfect, moving into some dynamic side bends, just reaching up and over. One more to each side. And then from there, moving down into your elbows, nice big circles in one direction. And go the other way. Beautiful. Wrists. And go the other way. Perfect. Now moving down into our lower body. If you're seated, start swishing those knees side to side, moving through your hips. If you're standing, do some nice big hip circles. If you're standing, go the other way. And then moving down into our knees. If you're seated, just start swinging those feet out, bringing a little motion through your knees, maybe a little side to side action as well. If you're standing, first popping forward and back. And then around in circles in one direction, nice little circles with your knees. And then go the other way. And then your ankles. Pick one foot up, point and flex. And then start spinning that foot around in one direction. And then the other direction. And then switch sides, starting with pointing and flexing. And then spin in that circle. And then go in the other way. Plant both feet and then flex your toes up and down. Give them a little wiggle. And then we should be ready to get started. So first up, we're gonna do a squat with a leg raise, but we're gonna do a variation on a leg raise. So your first option is to just do a regular sit to stand. And then at, while you're seated, lift one heel up and then the other. Second option, sit to stand, but do that heel raise while you're standing. And then third option is just do a body weight squat with that heel raise. So pick which variation is right for you. We've got one minute. Here we go. Beautiful. Good. 
You're working the inside of those legs with this move, bringing that heel up, rotating the knee outward. Helps to activate those inner thigh muscles. You have 20 seconds left. Almost there, you got this. 10 more seconds. And time, beautiful. Take a second and then up next, we're gonna do a deadlift with a bicep curl. So if you're in the chair, bring your feet in together, do your deadlift, rotate those palms, do your bicep curl. If you're standing, you're gonna do a split stance, one foot behind you. Same thing, rotate the palms to come up for the bicep curl. One minute on the clock, here we go. Nice flat back. Rotate the palms for the bicep curl and then flip them back over for the deadlift. You got it. Nice and steady. No need to rush here. We're building muscle. And you actually work the muscle longer, the slower you do the movement. 20 seconds to go. Beautiful, you got it. And time, excellent. Set the weights down for just a second. Rotate through those shoulders. And then we're gonna go to the other side if you're standing. If you're seated, you're gonna keep those legs together. But this time, coming up from your deadlift, you're gonna do an upright row. So if you're standing, opposite leg back, and same thing, upright row. One minute on the clock, here we go. For that upright row, bring the weights just up to shoulder height. And only if that's comfortable for you. If your upright row comes below your shoulders, no worries. Everybody's shoulder track is a little different. So find the motion that's gonna work for you. You're halfway there. Beautiful, you got this. Nice and slow and steady. Keep the weight moving at an even pace. And time, excellent. Set those weights to the side. Now, if you have lighter weights, you might wanna switch to them for this one. If you don't, just do this one empty hand for the first round. So seated version, you're gonna do an overhead lateral raise. All that means is you're bringing your arm all the way up. As you do, step that foot out. Same thing on the other side. Standing, same thing, nice and simple. One minute on the clock, here we go. Beautiful, if you are doing this one empty hand, Try to keep your hand and your arm flexed and engaged. Pretend you're gripping something, maybe even grab like a water bottle or something. That'll help you get a little more work through your arm muscles as you're doing this exercise. Halfway done already. Beautiful. Working on your balance a little bit with this one. Yeah. 
and time. Excellent. Set those weights down. Take just a moment. Roll through those shoulders again. One time forward and one time back. Let everything sink down. And then we're going to grab our weights. And if you're seated, you're going to turn sideways and just focus on a side leg lift coming out this way. You're going to hold on with one hand to support yourself. Have the other hand holding the weight above your shoulders. For the standing version, you're going to do the same thing, but you're going to add a rear leg lift as well. One minute. Here we go. Beautiful. If you really want to challenge your balance, or if you just didn't bring a chair today, just put that other hand on your hip and work on that standing leg balance. The higher you hold that weight up off your shoulder, the more upper body workout you're getting. Plus it helps add a little resistance to that balance training. 20 seconds to go. You got this. Almost there. And time, perfect. Take a second, switch sides, get yourself all set up. And then we're doing the same thing on the other side. Now you can do whatever variation you would like, but it is good to do the same variation on each side. So whatever you did on the first side, do that again on this side. And here we go. Beautiful, nice and steady. Whatever variation you're doing, keep it slow, keep it smooth. You're halfway done. You got this. Almost there, five seconds. And time, beautiful. All right, set that weight down. And that's the end of our first set. So go grab some water. We have two sets left to go. All right, bring it back in. We are back to that squat with the leg raise. So grab your weights, choose your variation, and you may, going into the second set, want to try a different variation than you did through the first set. Up to you. Either way, we've got one minute. Here we go. Remember you have the option to just lift that heel a little bit, rotate the knee out while you're in the seated position. You also have the option to bring your feet out a little wider and just do it as a body weight squat. Up to you, whichever one's gonna be right for you, that's the one you pick because all movement is good movement as long as it doesn't hurt. So choose an option for you that doesn't hurt. 10 more seconds. And time. All right, up next, we have the deadlift with the bicep curl. Putting one foot in back, here we go. Seated or standing, remember to flip those palms over. 
bring them all the way back down and then flip them again. Have a nice generous bend in your knees and keep that tummy squeezed in nice and tight. So you're getting a little core workout here along with the back body. Halfway there. Looking good, you got this. And time, perfect. All right, switching sides if you're standing or just switch your feet. And this one, you're gonna do that upright row. One minute, here we go. Nice flat back, still squeezing the tummy in. Check in with your breathing here. Make sure you can breathe nice and comfy, nice and smooth. If you're a little out of breath from working, that's okay. But if you find that your breath is hitching or catching, maybe dial it down a little. You're over halfway there already. Ten seconds to go, nice and steady. And time, beautiful. Set those weights down, roll through those shoulders forward and back. Maybe bring your arms in and out a couple times. And then we're gonna switch to those lighter weights for the around the world. One minute on the clock. Here we go. Nice big circle all the way around, half on one side, half on the other. Beautiful. Be aware of your shoulder track again for this one. If you find that your shoulder doesn't like to go all the way up, that's okay, don't go all the way up. 20 seconds to go here. If you wanna add a little extra challenge to this one, drop it into a squat. Just a little light one, but enough to really engage those leg muscles. And time, perfect. All right, next up, we have those side and rear leg lifts. Again, choose what variation is gonna work for you. Maybe do the same one you did the first round, maybe not. One minute, here we go. If you're standing and want a little more leg work and a little less balance work, kneel on the chair and hold it that way. I'm really focused on the squeeze at the top of both the side and the rear leg lift. Really working the hip on this one. Twenty seconds to go. Nice and steady. Still squeezing that core in. And time. Set it down for a second. Switch sides. And then here we go. One minute on the other side.
while you're keeping your belly tight on this one, try adding in reaching up through the crown of your head, lengthening through your neck and upper back. Really helping get your spine in a good alignment. But see if you can do it without losing that tightness through your tummy. Beautiful. 15 seconds left. And time, excellent. Set that weight down. One more time, working through your shoulders, through your back a little and go grab some water. That's two sets done, one set to go. All right, bring it back in. We are back up to that squat with the heel raise and rotation. So grab your weights, one minute on the clock. Here we go. Again, maybe try a different variation this time. Maybe not, up to you. Nice and steady. All right, we got 30 seconds left here. Focus on squeezing that heel up and tight for a one count. If you're standing, it may be a little more challenging, but you got this. Takes a little practice. No worries, you can do it. and time. All right, next up we have those deadlifts. Again, seated or standing, choose your variation. One minute, here we go. Still squeezing the tummy in. And again, try to stretch up through the crown of your head, lengthen through your neck and your upper back. Helping keep everything through your core nice and engaged. If you are doing the seated version, try to keep your knees squeezed in towards each other. Keeping those legs active as well. Ten more seconds here. And time, set the weights down, give everything a little shake, a little rotation, a little softening, and then pick them right back up for the upright row. All right, here we go. Deadlift into that row. Beautiful. Again, find the track that's good for you. Up to shoulder height, if you can. But if that doesn't work in your shoulders, pick a different height that does work for you. Fifteen more seconds here. Fifteen-ish. <laughs> You're almost there. Time. All right. Make sure 
you have plenty of space for those side steps. Grab your weights for around the world. Here we go. Keeping that nice bend in your elbows. Slow and steady, hand going the same speed up as down. Nice. Really reach out with those toes. 20 seconds left. Beautiful. You have five seconds. You can do anything for five seconds. And time. All right, next up, we have those side and rear leg lifts. Adjust your chair, grab your weight, and here we go. Beautiful, try it with hovering that weight up a little bit. And then bring it back down to shoulder height. You're over halfway there. All right, one more time. Try hovering that weight up just a little bit. And then bring it back down to shoulder height. You got 10 seconds to go. You got this. And time. Excellent. Set the weight down for a second. Roll through your shoulder and switch sides. One minute on the clock. Here we go. You got it. All right, hover that weight up. Engage those tricep muscles. And lower it back down. All right, one more time, hover that weight up. And lower it back down. Almost there, five seconds left. This is your last one, you can do it. And time, perfect. Set that weight down. We'll give everything a good shake and go grab some water. We are done with all three sets. All we have left is our final stretch. All right, bringing it in for your final stretch. So starting with feet hip width apart, take a deep breath in, hands come up over your head, lean to one side. Ooh, come back to the middle, lean to the other side. And then back to the middle and then fold forward. Let your hands come all the way down, hanging down towards your feet. Take a nice deep breath here. And then roll all the way up, rounding your back. And then let those shoulders sink down behind you. From here, take one arm, bring it across your body, pull it in nice and tight. And then look over that front shoulder. 
And if it feels good, add just a little knot up and down here. Bring your head back to center, release, and go to the other side. Got to do the same thing on this side. Hug that arm in nice and tight. Look over the shoulder. And then only if it feels good for you, add that little nod. You may notice it feels different on one side than the other. That's OK, too. Do whatever feels right for that side. Bring your head back to center and release. Reach one arm up. Give yourself that big pat on the back. And then if it feels good for you, pull that elbow just a little towards the wall behind you just to get a good stretch through that tricep. Take another deep breath here. Let it all out. And then switch sides. Same thing. If this is good for you, stop here. If you want a little more, pull that elbow towards the wall behind you. Take that big deep breath in. And really just let it all out. Beautiful release. From here, take one hand, reach it over to the opposite knee, and then twist just a little bit. Maybe look back behind you. One more time, take a big deep breath, stretch up, and then exhale and let it all out. Let everything soften. Release and go to the other side. Big deep breath, stretching up nice and tall, and then let it all out, let everything soften. Release and come back to center. Last thing we're gonna do today, bring one foot across your knee or across your ankle, wherever is comfortable for you. And then you're gonna lean forward until you feel a little stretch through the back of that hip, maybe through the side, depending on where you find some tightness. but make sure it's comfortable on your knee as well here. If you're particularly tight, you may find that putting the foot across your shin or even your ankle is better for you. So again, find the positioning that works for you. Come all the way up, switch sides, whatever position is best for you. And then that little lean just until you feel that stretch through the hip. and then come all the way up. Thank you so much for coming and playing with me today. I will see you next week.